Welcome everybody. Um, I'm going to take some time to talk a little bit about type 1 diabetes um, or diabetes in general. I have type 1 diabetes and I was diagnosed on March 24th, 1999. I was 11 years old um, when I became very sick and was rushed to the hospital. Five hours later they told me and my mom that I had type 1 diabetes, which changed my life forever. Um, it's been over 21 years. Um, my A1C with the new technologies um, of insulin pumps and CGM technology and IQ um, basal technology, my A1C is 6.9 and I am doing great. There, so that prompted me to go and look for saints that I can pray to to help my suffering or help others suffer from type suffer from diabetes, not just type one. Um, I am the only one in my family with type one diabetes. My grandma on my mother's side had type two diabetes, and it ended up killing her. Um, there is nobody else in my family who has type, has any type of diabetes. Um, my biological sister, both um, mother and father, the same, has the protective gene for type 1 diabetes. She can never get type 1 diabetes. I was not happy when I found that out. Um, now I am because diabetes sucks and I'm very happy that she can never get type 1 diabetes and all she has to worry about is maybe eventually sometime hopefully not get type 2 diabetes or diabetes by when or if she gets pregnant um i do not have to worry about that because when i had my three beautiful children i had diabetes and it was very difficult and with lots of complications because i had diabetes um so with that being said, um, some I have found a list on that is a free Kindle download. Um, as a they say that it's a little file is also available as a free download on ePlug or Kindle formats. Um, I don't know the name of this document. It does not say. It just starts with Saints of Diabetes. So if you want this. In your own collection, you might want to look um, for Saints of Diabetics um, in the Kindle store. We're going to start with Saint Philippus Slim Slumdun. Um, his memorial is the 4th of June. Um, while in seminary, he worked exclusively with Dolphins in Nepal, Italy. Ordained in 1871 while working with plague victims, he contracted the disease himself, but was miraculously cleared through the interversions of Our Lady of Panama. At one point, depression over the functions of his mute students, he asked to give up his teaching and work in the foreign minister missions. His spiritual advisor convinced him to stay, and Philippus threw himself into his work. In March 1885, with the help of Father Lo. Winzo, a patula, and several nuns he had trained. He formed a school for deaf, deaf and mute in Italy. It became the mother house of the congregation of the Selim's Sisters of the Sacred Heart. Father Filippo soon ex expended the work of his schools to include blind orphans and adopted children. Several 
served as confessor and spiritual director to priests, seminaries, and several religious communities. Founded the um, Eucharistic legend of priest Adoras and Eucharistic legend of women Adoras, superior superior of the congregation of the miscellaneous of St. Francis de Sales, canyon of the Lysen Cardinals. Wow, he had a lot. Um, he was born in um, on the 27th of June, 1848 in Naples, Italy. He died 4 June 1923 in Laos, Italy from a complication of diabetes and a heart attack and heart complications. Um, he ve was vindicated on the 11th of July 1995 by Pope John Paul II. He was beatified on 8 May 1996 by Pope John Paul II, and he was canonized 15 October 2006 by Pope Benedict the 16th. Um, and then another one, Saint. How these guys? Their names will be in the description box. Um, I cannot put all the information like I normally do since I'm including more saints in the same thing. Um, but I will put their name and where they were born. That way you guys can look them up if you don't understand my uh, speech impediment. Um, Saint Gaspi Mascati. Um, his memorials... He has two of them is the 12th of April and the 16th of November um, is the tradition translation of relics um, his profile seventh of nine children born to a prominent family the son of Francisco Masite a lawyer and Manisty, who served as an auto server whenever possible, and Rosa de Lusa di Marchia da Rosta, whose family was Italian noble, nobly, um, Saint uh, Gas. Paul's family moved to Nepal, Italy when the boy was four years old. He made his first communion at age eight, Conf confirmation at ten, friend of B Blessed Botolo Lango and Blessed Cantuas Valpicito um, received his Doctorate from the University of Nepal in 1903, worked at and served as a administrator of a hospital for the incurable while con containing to continuing to study and do medical research. <clears throat> Tired to try to enlist in the army in World War I, but was refused and instead ran a hospital for the wounded, possibly treating almost 3,000 soldiers. He healed sometimes without medical treatment. Um, I don't know that word um, with heavily help. Um, taught at numerous universities and hospitals and supported the poor and outcasts um, could sometimes um, diagnose a patient's illness and um, 
prescriptions for it without having seen the patient. Um, when known when and how to use a prescription's faith and the sacraments to affect a cure. Force modern physician to be canonized. Did not know that. Um, born 25 June, July 1880 at Benovento, Italy. Um, he died around 3 p.m. on 12 April 1927 of a stroke in his office in Nepal, Italy while taking a break between patients. Buried in the cemetery of Pagua Rusi, Nepal, in twelve in nineteen twenty, he was we tended in the church of Gusa Nuva Napils. He was beatified on ten May nineteen seventy three by Pope Paul the Sixth. Beatified 16th November 1975 by Pope Paul VI and canonized on October 25th, 1987 by Pope John Paul II. His canonization miracle involved carrying a young iron worker who was dying of lupus. The patient's mother dreamed of the doctor wearing a white coat. She later identified his... At him as Masco when shown a photograph of him soon after her son was cured. He is the patron saint of bachelors, people in rejected by religious orders and physicians. He is um, known to be seen wearing a white coat or a lab coat. These don't really say when they had diabetes, but we know that all of these had diabetes. Um, and there's probably more before um, we actually knew what diabetes was and researched, had the technology to actually test if they had diabetes. Uh, the next one is St. Josmea Escava. Um, his memorial is the 26th of June. Um, profile. One of six children born to Jos Josie and Doris Escava. Three of his siblings died in infancy. Infancy. His father was a small businessman, and when his business failed in 1915, the family moved to Spain. As a young man, Jos, jo, Jos Mera um, saw the bear saw the bear footprint left in the snow by a monk. The sight moved him and kindled a desire for religious vocation. He studied for the priesthood in Spain. His father died in 1924 and Josmia had to supplement, support the family while studying. Um, he was ordained in Zazeguza on 28 March 1925. Um, in 1929, study were spent studying at the University of Mandarin, teaching to support his mother and siblings, ministering to the poor and sick, and working to build the foundation of Upas Dai. Um, On February 14, 1943, he founded the Priestly 
Society of the Holy Cross, united to Opus das Jusmas, moved to Rome, Italy in 1946 and entered a doctorate in theology from the Latin Latoran University. Um, considered to two Vatican congregations, honorably member of the Potential Academy of Theology, named a prolet of honor by Pope Pius the Twelfth. In the mid nineteen forties, he developed severe developed serious complications from diabetes, from which he was macrosy cured in 1954. Wow. All of these saints so far has been cured of diabetes. Um, he was born 9 January 1902 um, at Barbastro, Spain. Died 26 June 1975 of natural causes in his office in Rome, Italy. He was beatified on 9 April 1999, 1990 by Pope John Paul II. Um, declare of heroic virtue. Um, he was beatified on the 17th May 1992 by. Pope John Paul II. The beatified miracle involved the cure in 1976 of um, Sister Consacun from the nearly fatal conditions from form of lupus following prayers by her family for the intersection of Father Joe's Mero. He was canonized on 6 October 2002, ooh, just recently, by Pope John Paul II. The canonized miracle involved saving a surgeon's hand from a cure cancer ending disease. Very cool. Um, there are more, um, but this one is getting long, so I'm just going to say their names. Um, Blessed Ma Mara Corvus Fisca Coro. Um, her memorial is the 4th of July, and she was um, beatified. She has not been canonized. She was beatified on the 16th of November 2005 by Pope Benedict the Sixth. Um, this name is going to be difficult. Saint Paulina do Corona Aguzatia de Jesus. Her memorial is the 9th of July. Um, she is the patriot saint of against diabetes and diabetics. So she is the patriot saint of diabetes and diabetics. Um, she was canonized on the 19th of May 2002 by Pope John Paul II. In, it in Italy, Rome, Italy. Um, so, and then there's one more. Saint Raphael Renizzo. Yeah, I said that wrong. Baron. Um, his memorial is the 26th of April. And he was canonized on the 11th of October, 2009, by Pope Benedict the 16th. Um, and he is a patriot saint of against diabetics, um, di diabetes, against diabetic, diabetes and diabetics, and World Youth Day, two thousand eleven. Um, these are just some of the saints 
um, I wish that I could do them more homage by actually being able to explain to you more about them. Um, I tried my best and I will try to do an invisible a video on them on their feast day. Um, so God bless and um, I hope everybody that suffers from diabetes in any form of the five different forms um, will be able to be cured or suffer less from them in the future. Um, if you are wondering, the five that I can think of off the top of my head is uh, type 1 or juvenile diabetes, uh, type 2 or adult onset, um, judicial diabetes, which is one that you get while you're pregnant, um, borderline diabetic um, is when you're just right on the edge, you can go either way, and type 3 diabetes, which my grandma had at the end of her life, um, type 3 is the worst and most people don't hear about it um, because if you have di type 3, you will die within the next 30 minutes. Um, type 3 diabetes is when your entire body shuts down all at once, um, starting with your pancreas and you die from extreme complications from diabetes. Um, I have only known of a couple people in my life that has had type 3 diabetes and it's usually because they have had either type 1 or type 2 diabetes in the past. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen to anybody and if it does that they will be put into their heavenly home in peace. Um, so God bless. Amen.